The Rebels season gets started on Monday night in Atlanta against Louisville, and the whole entire Ole Miss team is more than ready to go against someone other than themselves. And that's not just for a change of pace, but also to see how much better they've gotten on the defensive side of the ball compared to last season. Well, I think we're going to be better on defense. Um, it feels like that. I'm kind of excited to finally get through a real game you know, to see where we're at really, because you never know. Some years you think you're better on one side than you end up being, or better as a team, or worse as a team. So um, it'll be exciting to go play a quality opponent with really good players and good coaching schemes to see where we're at. In the big time game, the fundamentals is everything. The little things, I, 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 me personally, I just believe in the big time game, your focus has got to be there, and the little things, the little things going to take care of the big thing. There's plenty of excitement surrounding the Ole Miss offense. A big reason for that, this guy right here, running back Jerry and Ely, the junior, rushed for 745 yards last year, nine touchdowns and just nine games of action. But he missed the entire baseball season this year and the spring practice slate since he was recovering from shoulder surgery in January. But Ely is back, and let me tell you, he wasn't a big fan of sitting out. I've set out in the spring one time, and that was my ninth grade, going into my ninth grade, my freshman year of high school, and I was miserable, miserable then, and I was miserable now. So uh, to get back on the field and, you know, play a game with, with fans in the, in the stadium is going to be unreal, and it's going to be a good show that I'm going to put on. Mississippi State football slate gets started Saturday. They open the season at Davis Wade against Louisiana Tech. Now, head coach Mike Leach is having his press conference tonight at 6.30. We'll have you fully covered right here on WCBI tonight at 10 o'clock. Recapping it, you won't want to miss that. We'll likely also get an update on the quarterback competition between Will Rogers and Chance Lovertich and much, much more previewing that one. Kickoff Saturday again at 3 o'clock. We have some Itawamba Community College football news. ICC will have to wait a few days to open up the 2021 season. Its opener against Southwest Mississippi Community College has been rescheduled for Saturday. The teams were supposed to square off Thursday, but the game was moved due to the effects Hurricane Ida had on the area. Now kickoffs at 3. It will be live streamed on Let's Go ICC TV.com slash red. If there are any other developments, we will keep you updated. And according to Calhoun, According to the Calhoun County Journal, there has been a COVID-19 outbreak in the Bruce Trojans football program. Their season is postponed until at least September 15th, which means the Trojans' first four games against Coffeyville, Vardaman, Water Valley, and South Pontotoc won't be played due to COVID-19. If this is the case, they'll be eligible to return under the Friday night lights that next week, the 24th, against Nanawoya at 7 o'clock. We'll keep you updated as that situation develops as well. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.